Hello everyone and welcome to the channel and today I'm going to show you one of the most exciting features Google announced in the IO event which is the new AI wallpapers. Somehow the APK is currently available for download so special thanks to whoever managed to achieve this to give us an early access to the feature and this is the first time to see such an amazing thing directly embedded into the OS and completely free of a charge but it's a pixel phone and the software magic never ends. In this video, I'm going to show you how it works and also how to install it on your Pixel phone like I did with the 6 Pro. So without further ado, let's jump in. Before starting, don't get too excited downloading and installing the APK immediately because most probably it will crash your wallpaper and the style app if you are not using Android 14 QPR 1 Beta 1. Anything before this build is not supported, which I don't recommend doing. But if you did already by mistake, I will tell you how to solve this problem later. But let's say everything went through smoothly, like in my case. All you need to do to access the feature is to go to the wallpaper and the style app and then more wallpapers and then tap on AI wallpaper at the top right corner. It will first show you seven different themes to choose from. And any wallpaper you created with the feature and used on your phone will be automatically saved under this section, which is called your AI wallpapers. And those two wallpapers I created before, and I think this one looks great. I have the ability to delete the wallpaper if I no longer need it or apply further edits to it. But let's take a look at how we can create wallpapers in the first place. You have here the soft focus theme, you have mood, dreamscapes, vivid, unexpected landscape, drawing, and dark theme. So let's take the dark theme as an example. Already the featured wallpaper looks great, but let's take a look at how the feature works. You have here at the bottom a command prompt with two underlined words, which means you can tap on these words to get different options. So let's say I like the cream color. It's only giving me colors in this word. And when it comes to the second one, I have things related to the nature. I have, for example, waves, canyon, beach, cave, cliff, island, and so on. So let's choose something interesting, which is mountain. And here I have a button called create wallpaper. When I tap on it, it will show me this new animation, the same one we have in the cinematic wallpapers and take its time to create the options. And here you go, this is the first wallpaper we got. I think it looks nice, but if you take a look at the bottom, you will see some pagination dots, which means we have multiple creations for the same command prompt, and we can scroll through them using the left and right gesture, and you can see all of them look great. But I think the best option for me is this one. So if you want to use this wallpaper, you can tap on the tick button at the top right corner and it will immediately show it to you on your home screen and lock screen. Later, you can change the wallpaper colors if you want, but once you are in this page, you will be able to set the wallpaper or you can tap on the edit button to change your command prompt if you want. But I'm gonna go ahead and set it on my phone screen because I want to keep it for the future and then I can pick a different wallpaper color that matches this one and I think it looks great. So let's continue exploring to show you even more options. So I will go again to the AI wallpaper and this time I will choose the unexpected landscape theme. You will notice here that we have three different words to modify this time versus only two under the dark theme. The first one it's giving me two options either surreal or realistic so I'm going to choose realistic to see how accurate it will be and then we have the cliffs but you can change that to something related to the nature as well so I'm going to choose something different this time which is cave and then let's tap on the colors and this time you'll notice here that the colors are now combined together you are getting palettes not only single colors like before so I'm going to choose a palette that I like I think this one looks great and then tap on create wallpaper to, to see what we will get. And once more, the results are very promising. These are the wallpapers I got. Some of them look great in my opinion. I think this one will look really nice. And this one too, so let's give it a try. And here you go, this is how the home screen looks and the lock screen. Uh, and you'll notice here at the top that we have a pill-shaped filter that will allow you to jump between themes without the need to go back to the previous page like this. So for example, if I want to swap to something else like uh, Dreamscapes, for example, I can do it from here right away and start exploring. So let's give this one a try as well. So for example, I'm going to choose a tower 
and then a tower made of uh, let's say lace and we have here some dual colors to choose from let's create the wallpaper and see what's gonna happen and once more it keeps impressing me and this time I think all of them look great so I'm gonna go ahead and set one of these wallpapers on my home screen let's pick this one and here's how it looks on your home and lock screen one more thing worth mentioning if you don't know what to choose you have this inspire me button that will automatically randomize the choices to give you something nice so let's give it a try and see what's gonna happen here and here's the new set of wallpapers completely created by the app I didn't interfere in any way and I think they also look great. Let me also show you a couple of findings after using this app for a while. If you want to edit the wallpaper, you don't need to go to more wallpapers and then AI wallpapers to achieve this, but you can simply tap on it from the preview and then tap on edit and it will take you right away to the same interface. The second thing is this feature doesn't support the cinematic wallpaper effect and every time I use an AI wallpaper, I don't see the button. But I wish it did because that might create something even more interesting. So these are all the features in the AI wallpaper. Now let me show you how to install it on your phone. First, make sure it's running Android 14 QPR1 Beta 1 and the build number is U1B1.230908.003. And if you don't know how to install this build, all you need to do is to look for Android Beta program in Google search and then tap on this link which, say, which says Android beta program. Make sure you are signed in with the same Google account you have on the device. Scroll down and you will see all the devices eligible for this beta program. Tap on the opt-in button next to the device and then agree to the terms and Google will push the update to your phone shortly. Once you install the update, go ahead and click the link in the description which will take you to the Google News Group on Telegram and you will find a post about this app. It says AI wallpapers. Tap the ellipses, save to downloads, open the file app, and then locate the file. Tap on it to install, and you are good to go. You will find it immediately under the wallpaper and the style app. And lastly, if you installed the APK and your wallpaper and the style app crashed for any reason, all you need to do is to jump to settings and then go to apps, and then search for the AI wallpaper app uninstall it and you are good to go everything will be back to normal so that's pretty much it for today that was an early access for the ai wallpapers feature i hope you like it and please let me know in the comments what do you think about it but for now thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video